Hi right there, this is my easy spin pulse motor generator. I've got the meter hooked up here to my capacitor. It's uh let me see if I can show you here. It's a 16 volt 3300 UF. You probably don't know if you can see that or not. So trying to get in there. You also see an AV plug on there. That's because I can run this motor with my little slayer. Don't know if I'll show it in this video, but if not, I'll show it on the next. That's just my meter leads hooked up. They come around. I want to my meter there. It's on the 20 volt scale. Anyway, I'll show you how it works here. Wind it up. It runs counterclockwise. Right here's my little reed switch. And I managed to get an LED on there, resistored way down. It's a, got a 10K resistor on it, so it doesn't pull on the motor. Don't seem to affect it too much. Let's give it a go here. You'll see the voltage crank up here. There's 450 ohms of 42 gauge wire, four coils. There's eight one inch neodymiums, four on the top and then the four on the bottom. I think it's cool just because of the generating capability of it, and it'll run clear down to about half a volt or less. Point four, point five, something like that. Let's crank it up again. And I'll show you that it's not just coasting. I'll stop it once we get some power generated here in the little capacitor. And it's not a super cab, it's a regular one of the mill capacitor. Let's stop it. There's our voltage just staying there. So you'll know that it is not just coasting. It runs on really, really low amperage. On a 9 volt battery, it draws between 3 and 400 uni amps. So, I ain't tried it with a super capacitor yet. I've kind of got my super ca caps are tied up on other projects, but this might be a good project for a super cap. Lid Motor just posted one on there that I like really well. Uh, the best one I've seen is Laser Saber. That little motor he's got is it's nice. Thanks to him. Thanks Lid Motor. Uh, like all you guys' work. Just want to mention, give you a mention out there. And I like this one. This is the first one I've ever got to run on a regular capacitor. And I thought it was pretty cool. I did a lot of this has been many different experiments, but I th I think I'm gonna fix it down on with this. I like this. In my next video, I'll show you it running with my little Slayer. I've got a 1.5 volt Slayer that it runs. It'll run it up to about 16, 17 volts and keep it there. And I'll show you that on the next video. I just wanted to get this one out there. Uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching.